Hello everybody to the tutorial of modeling a simple phase excitation problem then run a dynamic analysis. This is the phase excitation symbol representation. Okay. Then we take a new assembly. Okay. <coughs> we go to three filters and activate features and apply okay. We take an axis and put it over the x-axis, then OK. Now we get the first part. OK. We take a pin connection and make it between this axis and this. And we need to make a coincidence, betwe a coincidence between this plane and this, then OK. We open the tree of the part, then we hide all these. Okay. Now let me get the second part. Now we need this plane to be coincident with this. We take a new set and make also this coincident with this. Note degrees of freedom reduction. We have just a translation in this direction. Then we take OK. Now we get the third part and it's the mass part. So now we take this plane to be coincident with this. OK. Then we take a new set and we take this to be coincident with this note the degrees of freedom of this part okay now we go to applications mechanism we need to identify a cam fuel system so we take it from here and auto select take this part with control and this okay Cam 2, we just take this area, then OK, OK again. Now note the motion, we drag this component. OK. We close this and activate this sketch on this plane. We take a point and put it here. It's the reference of the spring and the damper. Okay. Now again to applications mechanism for mass properties. We take this, apply then OK. Also we take this, apply then OK, and this part. Okay. We hide. Just we activate the point display. We take a spring, this point, control, and this. Let this to be 70, and this to be okay. Did we drag this component to this location? We need to delete this and activate this part. We need to sketch on this face and take a point in the center to make it a reference point. OK. Now we activate the assembly again. We take a new spring from this point to this with then OK. We try to run a dynamic analysis to check the model. So we take this just to dynamic. Oh, we need to check the direction of acceleration of gravity. So we go to wireframe and check the direction. It's correct. Then 
ok we go back to shading now mechanism that is equal to this to p1 we take dynamic and enable gravity then run we note that this string is good or we can reduce its stiffness so in the definition this to be three. okay we run the analysis again with this to be five and this to be dynamic okay now we need to identify the timbre so we take this point control with this let this equal one then okay okay again we check we enable this let we reduce this value to p this okay check it again again I think this is good now we need to add a servo motor in this connection so we take it uh, acceleration one with acceleration of 10 then now let it be okay apply now we go to mechanism dynamic and enable the gravity then run okay Now we need to check the response of the system. So this is analysis definition 6. Then click OK. We go to measures. Then we take this, add a new measure. Now we need to measure the position as example, the position of uh, this point. Our reference coordinate system will be this. Then apply. Okay. Now we need to check in In the y direction so to measure magnitude in y component apply ok not the response of the system we can also increase the time of analysis we go to new let this to be 25 this to P1 dynamic and enable the gravity you can give the system an initial condition by dragging the component so assuming this to be in this position let we see the response now so this be 25 again this to P1 with dynamic and run it We are interested to see how the response changed. Then, okay, measures seven, this measure then five. Okay. Again, we regenerate the model, give it this initial condition, 
then dynamic external load then run it okay so measures we take the final one not the response this is the effect of the initial condition you can take it in the opposite direction to take it like this then run a new analysis not to change now then click OK take the final analysis with the measure not the deflection sorry the reflection okay. this completes this tutorial you can take this part from the link I will provide in the description of this tutorial thank you and excuse my bad English thank you